Hey friends. So today in lesson 23, we're going to start learning about telling time. So we had kind of touched on telling time um, back in the fall or the winter, but we're going to dab into it just a little bit this week. And today it's starting out really easy on lesson 23, session one, page 515. And all we're doing is starting with o'clock. So when the long hand, which is the minute hand, is facing or pointing to the 12, that means it is o'clock. So o'clock, o'clock, o'clock. The long hand is the minute and the short hand is the hour. So um, they want you to, in the first one, show four o'clock. So you're going to draw an arrow that is shorter than the minute hand because it's the hour and it's going to point at the four. So if you see my long hand is the minute and it says o'clock, the long hand shows the four hour minutes. So go ahead and do seven o'clock, 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Seven o'clock is going to draw a little short hand, the hour hand to the seven. 10 o'clock is drawing a little short hand to the 10 and two is a little short hand to the two. Now on page 516, it gives you a time. It says, I'll just erase all of these, but one, it gives you this time and it says, what time is it? And you're going to write in blank o'clock. You know it's o'clock because the long hand is the minute and it's pointing to the 12. And then you're gonna look at the shorthand and see where's that pointing? Well, it's pointing to the seven. So it is seven o'clock. Now, if you turn the page, we are just getting ready for learning how to tell time. We're gonna break it down into little bitty baby steps. I'm gonna keep the minute hand there that is long and I'll put the littler hand here, which is the hour. It's shorter, okay? So number one on page 517 says, think about what you know about telling time, fill in each box, use words, pictures, excuse me, use numbers, words, use words, numbers, and pictures, show as many ideas as you can. So it gives you O clock. Now in the past we had done, um, we had learned about two different types of clocks. We had learned about this clock which is an analog clock. So this is nine o'clock on an analog clock. Then we could also show nine o'clock on a digital clock. Some of you guys might have alarm clocks at home. And this is a dig, soft G, digital clock. And then a clock means on the hour. It doesn't say on the 12 because the 12 is the hour. Hour is the 12, same thing. So whenever you hit 12, it's a new hour. So it means on the hour or when the hour starts. So before nine o'clock, it was 8.59, 8.58. It was not quite nine. So now it's on the ninth hour when it hits at 12 o'clock. Number two says, I go tries to show three o'clock. Is she right? So just on the same page down below on um, page 517, um, Iko wants to show three o'clock, but she draws 12 and three is where she goes. So is she right? Circle yes or no. Well, her hour hand is pointing to the 12 and her minute hand is pointing to the three. So when you get to the three, it's every five minutes. So it's 12, which is um, zero minutes. And then you have five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. In between there's five jumps. So this is five, 10, 15. So it is 12, 15 right now. No. She is not right. 
Had she switched her hands and made this, the minute hand long and this hour hand short, would she be right then? Yes, she would. But right now she's not right. The whole next page just wants you to show five o'clock, 11 o'clock, eight o'clock, six o'clock. So um, I'm gonna draw one clock and do all of these. So it starts out at 12 and then it goes one, two, one, two, I don't know what is wrong with you right now. Three, four, five, six, the six is across, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So my clock is a little bit smushed, but hopefully you guys get the idea. So a clock is always gonna have the long hand going to the 12. So I just automatically draw that because all of them say o'clock. So the first one I'm gonna do is five o'clock. And I'm gonna draw my little hour hand to the five. There's five o'clock. The next one they want us to do is eight o'clock. So I'm gonna do a little hand pointing to the eight. Now I have eight o'clock. The next thing they want me to do is 11 o'clock. And there's my little hand going toward the 11. The next one they want is 6 o'clock. So I'm going to take my little hand and draw it down to the 6. It should actually be just one straight line if it's at 6 o'clock. Okay, this little dot is where the hour hand starts and the minute hand takes over. Okay. So that's easy. Hopefully that was just a really quick introduction to o'clock. We're going to go into this small because time can be very confusing, especially on an analog clock like this, but you guys will do amazing. I just know it.